Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to make grilled pepper risotto. Risotto originated in northern Italy and refers to rice which is first roasted and then slowly cooked in wine, broth, herbs and spices. The resulting dish is a rich, enticing combination of flavors. This process also draws out the starch content from the rice, creating a creamy texture. Variations of risotto are endless, so don't be afraid to experiment. Step 1. You will need the following ingredients to serve two people. One liter of vegetable stock or water, half an onion, chopped, one and a half red peppers, chopped, three cloves of garlic, crushed, one bay leaf and a few sprigs of thyme, six tablespoons of olive oil, 250 grams of arvoria rice, 200 milliliters of dry white wine, 150 grams of grilled peppers, chopped, one tablespoon of basil, chopped, one tablespoon of parsley, chopped, 25 grams of parmesan, grated, and salt and pepper. Here is a handy list of the ingredients. You will also need the following utensils. Three saucepans, a sieve, a wooden spoon, and finally a ladle. Step 2. Make the stock. The stock is the base of the risotto and will lightly perfume it. Place the saucepan onto a medium-high heat, add half of the olive oil, and then add the onions, peppers and garlic. Stir them together with your wooden spoon and allow them to sweat for roughly two to three minutes. Next, pour in the vegetable stock or water, the bay leaf, and the thyme. Bring it all to a simmer and simmer gently for 30 minutes. Now strain the stock into the second saucepan through a sieve and place it onto a back burner over a low heat. Step 3. Make the risotto. Place the third saucepan onto a medium heat. Add the olive oil and rice. Stir in well with your wooden spoon so that all the grains are nicely coated with oil. Next, add the wine and allow the rice to absorb it. This will take roughly one minute. Once the wine has absorbed, add two ladles of stock to the rice. Stir it in with the wooden spoon and allow it to absorb. Don't let it cook too fast. Add another two ladles of stock and while it's absorbing, occasionally stir the risotto. The stirring draws out the starch, making it creamy. Continue to add the stock in this manner until the rice is cooked al dente, which means it still has a bite. This whole process should take roughly 15 minutes. Step 4. Finish and serve. Now add the grilled peppers, season with salt and pepper, stir in, and add the basil and parsley. Finally, sprinkle with parmesan. Fold it all together and spoon into a large bowl. Drizzle over some olive oil and serve. This risotto goes well with simple grilled fish dishes. And that's how to make grilled pepper risotto the video jug way.